Hey everyone, I'm getting ready to make some um, broccoli cheddar soup um, with my deluxe cooking blender. And I thought it would be a great opportunity to um, make a video and show you guys how easy this blender is to use. Um, it's called the deluxe cooking blender because it cooks as well as blends. So while other um, blenders you know, can heat up your food, they don't actually get to the hot enough temperature for cooking. So what makes it so awesome is that you can throw your raw vegetables in. You don't have to do any prep on them. You don't have to put them in the oven first and add it with a bunch of other ingredients and it makes soup. Um, the blender comes with a cooking guide and in the cooking guide, I have a lot of pieces of paper in here, so hopefully they don't fall out. Um, but there's a bunch of recipes in here um, that you can, um, you know, you can use, but like, for example, the, um, well, here we have smoothie bowls. Um, we have horchata, horchata. Um, there's a whole section on soup. And what I like about that section is that it tells you how to use the soup setting and it gives you all kinds of variations of different soups that you can make um, in, the, in the blender. So there's a lot of uh, good recipes in here. Um, so I'm making the broccoli cheddar soup. I'm just looking to see what else is in here. So the settings that, are, that, that this blender has is smoothie, which I use all the time, makes the best smoothest smoothies. Um, alternative milk, which um, means that you can make your own almond milk, oat milk, um, oat milk I haven't done, but nut milks. You can make nut milks in here. You just put the almonds in and some water and it turns into your own almond milk. Um, the soup setting, um, the soup setting, the heated puree, the jam and the sauce are all the heated settings. And people have made jam in here and you don't have to do the whole thing on your um, stove top and with the with the special canning and the, it's all it's all done in here um, at, at, at a high temperature. And then there's also grind. So I've ground my coffee beans in here. I have taken um, peanut butter. Um, so I've taken a jar of peanuts. It tells you how to do that in here. A jar of peanuts and that's it. You put it in here on the grind setting and it makes creamy, delicious, all natural peanut butter. This is a very powerful blender. Um, so the alternative milk, the smoothie, the grind, I've used, I actually one time didn't have powdered sugar, so I just took my sugar, popped it in here, and made myself powdered sugar. Um, so there's a lot of things you can use this for, but the soup setting is kind of cool. So let me open this up and show you how quick it is to put this together. This, um, I'm making the broccoli cheddar. This is butternut squash. Okay, so um, it's plugged in turn it on. Actually, let me turn it this way so you can see it. I probably didn't actually show off the blender. And then there's a little dial here. So you just turn it to the, um, to the selection that you want. I'm going to get it over to soup, which is right there. Um, so then it tells you that little noise means that it's locked. The blender will not work um, if the lid is not locked. So when the lid's off, it says lid, and you know that you obviously need to need to put your lid on. Um, so, so you have to add the ingredients in the order that it's listed. The liquid always goes on the bottom. So first is the vegetable broth, and this is in our um, flexible, I don't know what it's called, flexible measuring cup. What I love about this, it's a set of three. Um, first of all, it bends. So like if you wanna pour stuff into your stand mixer, sometimes it's a tight spot. Um, this is great for that. Um, they come with lids, so you can also store on them. And the measure markers are on the inside so that when you're looking, when you're pouring in your um, ingredient, you don't have to stand all the way down here to look on the outside, it's all on the inside. So I'm gonna pour in my vegetable broth. And then next is half a teaspoon of salt. And this is one of our measuring spoons. What I love about these is the oblong shape. Um, they fit into most spice jars. So, and the other thing is it has just enough of a flat bottom that it will actually rest on your, um, you know, waiting for you to use it. So I, I pre-measured that and it was just sitting there waiting for me to use it. So there's my salt. So that's going to go in because that was low sodium um, vegetable broth. And then six cups of broccoli florets, which I, I did already. Um, and this is one of our batter bowls. They come in two sizes. This is the large one. People love our batter bowls. Um, so these are obviously great for mixing batter and, uh, you know, um, storing it. It also comes with a lid so you can, you know, if you have leftover batter, you can just store it uh, in the fridge. So here's the broccoli. So there's that. Um, and then 
it says one half a medium onion, which I already have. I'm using our utility knife. I love our knives. They have a really, I don't know if it's ergonomic, but the way the handle is, it's very easy to grip. It's like soft on your hand. So I'm just gonna cut it into a couple of pieces, put that in there. And then the last thing is the garlic cloves. So I wanted to show you, I'm just gonna throw these in, but we have a garlic peeler. This is really great too. So you just put the garlic into the peeler, move that out of the way, and then you just roll it like that, and your garlic becomes totally peeled. You don't have to fight with the peel. I know the peel is a pain in the neck and sometimes gets stuck to my hands and whatever. So you can do a couple at a time in there. Then you just lock the lid. Hopefully I didn't overfill this. Lock the lid and I'm going to start it on the soup cycle. When it's all done, there's some add-ins. You're gonna get um, spinach in here and you're gonna get some cheddar cheese. So that's gonna make it really flavorful. I've had this before and there's a little recipe to go along with it for little tiny biscuits, which are really tasty. So the biscuits and the soup and I'm gonna make one other thing and that's gonna be our dinner. But try to imagine like on a day, um, you know, a cold day like today, you're coming home from work, you're like, oh, I gotta make dinner. What am I gonna do? This is all stuff I had pretty much. I mean, I brought the broccoli, but it was part of my weekly shopping. You know, you have um, you have broth in your pantry, you have salt, you have an onion. Um, it's very easy to throw together and it's a delicious hot soup. It's gonna be creamy. Um, I think the soup setting, I don't know. I don't remember because I haven't made it in a while, maybe 20 to 30 minutes. But the thing is you can walk away from it. You don't have to do a thing. You don't have to check the vegetables in the oven. You don't have to stir it on the top of the stove. You don't have to worry about it burning. It's just gonna do its thing and when it's done, it's done. And the other thing about our blender is it has a self-cleaning cycle. So that's another really awesome thing. When it's all done, you add some water up to three cups and you put a couple of drops of um, soap in it and you turn it on to the heated wash and you walk away and it takes about 10 minutes and it spins and it heats and it gets hot to where it's steaming and it sanitizes itself. And then when it's all done, it's filled with soapy water. You just rinse it out, drain it, done. You don't have to clean it. You don't have to scrub it. You don't have to worry about catching your hands on the blades. So I can't say enough good things about this blender. Um, our electric products this month, which includes the blender, the air fryer, and the quick cooker, which is like our version of an Instant Pot, all three of those products are electrics are 25% off. So if you're in the market for a good blender or an air fryer or an Instant Pot, consider it because this is the, I, I have never seen these things go on, go on sale. So um, the other option is to um, host a party and they're 25% off this month, but when you host a party, it's always an option to take it as one of your half price items. So you know, consider it if you're in the market for one of these items. Um, but I think that's all I had to show you. So I'm gonna turn it on, it gets pretty noisy, and I will post some pictures of the soup. Um, it's just gonna start churning, and it's gonna start heating, and churning, and heating, and I'm not gonna have to deal with it. I'm just gonna go and do something else, clean up, you know, to put, put my laundry in the dryer, and the soup will be ready in about half an hour. So. That's it, that's what I wanted to show you. Let me turn it on and um, I'll talk to you guys later. If anybody has anything that they wanna see me demo, please put it in the comments or post it or message me. Um, I have, you know, a lot of Pampered Chef products. Likely I have the thing that you're interested in. So, you know, let me know and if I could throw a quick demo together, video it, put it up, I'm happy to do so. Okay, so let's get the soup going. Soup, you just push the button, I have it on soup. Um, 212, so I think that's the temperature that it's, it's getting to, 212 degrees. So you're gonna, watch, it's, you're gonna be able to see as it gets to the temperature. And then once it reaches the temperature, the making the soup part is not that hard because it just has to grind it for a little while, blend it, whatever. So there we go. Um, what it's going to do for a while so there's no point in keeping it on because it'll be a good 30 minutes of soup making but you guys get the idea okay hope everybody has a good evening